My name is Niyati Seth and thanks for watching Edipedia Word Videos. My topic for the presentation is the 12th section of the chapter Morphology of Angiosperms that is flowering plants. In my this section of presentation will be studying about the inflorescence. Okay? In angiosperms plant Flowers are reproductive organs. We very well know that. Okay, flowers is a modified shoot and is adapted for the purpose of reproduction. Flowers they may be single or they may occur in clusters. Right? It could be single or it could occur in clusters. As you can see that this is solitary flower and this is you know inflorescence of it. Okay. So a natural group or the cluster of flowers produced on a special reproductive axis that is peduncle of a plant is called as inflorescence. This kind of arrangement of flowers on a special reproductive axis which we call it as peduncle then that is known as inflorescence students. Okay. Modification of inflorescence it involves length nature of the internode and phyllotaxies. It also considers variation in proportion, reduction, conatations, adenations, compression of the main and the secondary axis. Okay? As you can see the stem that is holding the this inflorescence is called as peduncle. So this is your peduncle which is holding this kind of inflorescence. And the main stem holding the flowers is called rachis. Okay, so these are your rachis. These are the stems that hold the flowers. Okay, so they are called as rachis. The stalk of the flower is called pedicel. Okay, a flower in a fl inflorescence arrangement is known as floret. So this is your floret. Okay. So, uh, what is definition of an inflorescence? Inflorescence is defined as a cluster or the group of flowers arranged on a stem which composes of a main branch or a complicated arrangement of branches. Inflorescence is basically the part of shoot of flowering plants where the flowers formed are modified accordingly. An inflorescence is defined as a reproductive part as you can see that it bears mostly flowers, right? So uh, it is defined as a reproductive part of a plant which bears a group of flowers in a specific pattern, okay? So this is the cluster which is a natural group of a flowers produced on a special pedun uh, productive axis that is peduncle. Okay. So this kind of arrangement is known as inflorescence. Okay. Students see like um, based on the arrangement of a flowers on the main axis that is this which is known as peduncle okay? uh, and the timing of its flowering inflorescence can be of two types and which are those determinant and indeterminate inflorescence okay so what is determinant inflorescence in determinant inflorescence the terminal axis is with a flower okay and this type of inflorescence the youngest flowers are found on the bottom of the elongated axis or on the outside of truncated axis okay during the flower time, the apical meristem produces a flowering bud. As you can see that this is the terminal uh, or apical meristem which produces a flowering bud arresting the growth of the peduncle. Okay, That means it has determinant length. It is not indeterminant okay? in which the axis continues to grow. Okay, but in determinant inflorescence, in this the apical meristem, as you can see, that it produces a flowering bud, and thus it arrests the growth of peduncle. Determinant inflorescence is seen in cymes. Cymes they are flat topped inflorescence in which central flowers are open first. Okay, central flowers they open first, and uh, followed by the flowers on the peripheral side. Uh, example is your onion okay okay and uh, now comes um, indeterminate 
fluorescence in fluorescence okay uh, see indeterminate fluorescence are uh, where axis continues to grow okay in this type of inflorescence the youngest flowers are present at the top that means at the top youngest flowers will be there and uh, at the center of a truncated or on the center of the truncated axis okay and the indeterminate inflorescence may be of many types like racemos as you can see uh, pinnacle catkin spike carom umbel and spadix okay which i'll be explaining in detail but for the time being just know the names okay now we'll focus on the simple inflorescence part which we also call as single terminal floral inflorescence it is a type of extreme inflorescence where there is no branching or complete determinancy is seen okay first is your racemose inflorescence so this is your indeterminate and unbranched type of inflorescence in racemose type new flowers are generated at the tip of the inflorescence as you can see that these are the new flowers which uh, are generated at the tip of the inflorescence and there is no definite determination and the axis never terminates into a flower okay so peduncle shows continued growth for indefinite period of time and this is your peduncle okay so uh, you can say that uh, it is indeterminate and unbranched type of inflorescence okay active terminal bud never converts into terminal flowers as i have told you that terminal bud never get converted into terminal flower please note that okay uh, this is seen in a snapdragon flower okay so this is racemos inflorescence is your indefinite inflorescence now comes your floral arrangement okay your floral arrangement so uh, students in racemos inflorescence the main axis shows continuous growth and it does not end with the flower the older flowers they are present towards the base and the younger flowers are towards the axis okay younger these are the younger flowers which are present at the apex okay and the older flower they are present at the base as you can see that these are the older flowers which are present at the base and the younger flowers which are present at the apex students sometimes the main axis becomes shortened okay this is your main axis right peduncle so uh, it is seen that sometimes main axis becomes shortened and the flowers become clustered okay racemos in fluorescence may have elongated peduncles or shortened peduncles in racemos in fluorescence a flower develops at the axil between stem and the branch of each leaf along the unbranched axis okay so this is seen in your snapdragon okay and this kind of arrangement is known as acropetal succession in which the older flowers are present at the base and the younger flowers are present at the apex right now comes the opening of flowers in racemos in fluorescence right as you can see that uh, uh, older flowers they are present at the base it opens first then uh, this will open and then this will and at the last the flowers which are present at the apex it opens okay so flowers which are peripheral or lower are older and open fast okay and flowers which are in center here or near the apex they are younger and they open later okay that's why see these are open flowers and this is closed so can uh, get to know that uh, flowers which are in the center or near the apex they are younger and they open later okay so this kind of uh, opening of flowers is known as centripetal succession in which the elder flowers uh, which are present at the base which are these they open first and then uh, these flowers which are present at the apex then they open later okay so this kind of uh, opening of flower is known as centripetal succession okay so example is your gulmohar okay 
whose botanical name is caesalpinia now comes in uh, cymose inflorescence now what is that what is that in the cymose inflorescence the main axis okay it ends of the flower ends in a flower as a peduncle stops growing okay this is your peduncle right this is your peduncle and this is your terminal bud and terminal buds unlike racemose inflorescence cymose inflorescence uh, terminal bud it terminates into flower but uh, as I have taught you that in, in racemose inflorescence terminal bud never terminates or never gets converted into flower but in cymose inflorescence the terminal bud it terminates into flower okay that means the main axis ends of the flower end in a flower as a peduncle stops growing. Okay, the flowers in the chyme show basipetal succession, unlike racemose inflorescence where centripetal succession was seen in the opening of flower. Right? Okay. So this is this kind of inflorescence is your definite inflorescence. Right? Definite is uh, inflorescence. Uh, uh, means that inflorescence the terminal axis is with a flower in this type of inflorescence the youngest flowers are found at the bottom but the older or the along uh, elder they are uh, flowers they are present at the center right so during the flower time the apical meristem it produces a flowering bud and thus arrest the growth of the peduncle okay uh, this is also known as determinant inflorescence okay so what kind of floral arrangement is seen in this as you can see that this is the peduncle axis right and this is your terminal uh, flower okay which got converted from terminal bud okay this this is your base from which uh, two branches have arisen uh, and they have uh, terminal ends with the flower okay the flowers they are arranged in centrifugal manner the older flower is at the center and the newer or the younger flowers are towards the margin as you can see or towards the periphery right see these are more younger ones okay uh, so the younger flowers you can say that they are present at the base and the older flowers they are present at the apex and this kind of uh, flowers in chyme they show basipetal succession okay that means the oldest flowers is the apex and the youngest flowers they are present at the margins or at the periphery or at the base of the inflorescence right and they are and the flowers they are arranged in centrifugal manner okay and the oldest flower is the at the center and the younger or the newer flowers they are towards the my, uh, margin okay so now comes the opening of the flower as you can see that um, first uh, you know, the oldest flower is at the center and the younger flowers they are present at towards the margin right so this is how it goes so center flower is the older and it opens first and then peripheral flowers which are these this and these okay so they are younger and they open later this kind of um, arrangement is centrifugal in nature this is seen in jasmine and chlorodendron okay so uh, this was all about the inflorescence uh, in my next section of the presentation we'll be studying about the different indeterminate inflorescence okay uh, and which are those like panicle catkin spike carium umble and sparex okay so till then stay tuned and keep watching edipedia word videos thank you mm -hmm.